Hello everyone. Um, so, like I said in the last video, what I want to try to go for here is that delay um, when we use the blink ability. So we can kind of see... Actually, let's go ahead and enable infinite mana. We're trying to blink a lot. So, as I said, we can try and slow down the game and look for this timer like a normal timer. Um, one other method we can do, but just based on what I've already seen, I'm going to say, you know, we really can't use this method. I just kind of want to go over it real quick. Um, because in a lot of games, this would work. What we can do is find out what access is mana. And then actually make an attempt to see what's accessing, you know, see if there's something that accesses it when we hit the button. And see if there's somewhere, if there was somewhere that was counting each time I was clicking the button. Um, but not when the button isn't being clicked. And in our case, we don't really see that. Um, we've got three that are constantly reading from it. So we could essentially try and read from these and figure out if maybe somewhere in one of these um, it's actually checking you know because here we do know it is comparing it does you know it reads the value to ECX and then it is comparing ECX to ACX and thus we could try and figure out okay is that comparing it to you know to see if it's 20 you know something like that and then start following this code and see if there's somewhere that that changes based on what we're doing um, you know somewhere that fires when we can blink but not when we can't um, so that is one method to try and find this but um, that can take a lot more time in my mind um, I, I guess it kind of depends on you know, poking around a little bit and just seeing if you can find something that's a conditional thing um, isn't necessarily a terrible idea. Um, and, you know, we could get lucky and actually find it that way pretty quickly. But, you know, that's, you know, we can dig through a bunch of code and never find what we're looking for. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to actually try and slow down the game and find it that way. Um, and so with a timer like this, because like you've kind of seen with the uh, mana charge timer, it's kind of all over the place normally. Like it's not like it counts down and stops. Um, this, you know, this timer will keep counting down. And I've already seen, um, at one point here, I could probably show you again if I load into this save. Um, there you can see it's, you know, negative 240 something when it starts and it just keeps counting down. It's almost like it, it, you know, I don't know if that's a bug or what. I would assume eventually it hit, you know, the low end of a, you know, the, what it can do for a, um, floating point um, and have to start back at zero or something but you know it's almost like that's being used to keep track of when was the last time that I blinked or maybe used um, a magic ability or something so again that's just kind of pointing out that you can't necessarily rely on the timer to like hit zero and stop um, because we can't see it we have no idea what's going on under the hood and thus we do need to to treat it that way like you know it could be anything um, so in an instance like this what I would actually say is hey let's go ahead and enable speed hack hopefully this doesn't mess up the audio or capturing ability I don't think it will but and we'll go ahead and say basically 0 025.25 we'll apply that and this should slow down the game to a point that we'll actually be able to start trying to capture this. So if we use blink, 
and then just kind of start counting one two three so about three seconds well not really seconds but I count to three um, before it lets me do it again so one two three four ish um, so that ought to be enough for us to go ahead and we could try and slow down the game more it just gets to the point where even hitting buttons isn't that responsive anymore so I, I kind of tend to do about a quarter and try and work off of that so th and this is a good method for even finding um you know like a fire rate or something like that because we could you know find a gun that already has a pretty low fire rate slow the game down and then sit there and see how long it takes before it'll let me fire again be a similar concept and I know before this was how I found attack speed to actually see what timer runs as it's doing the animation um, and we'll probably actually work I'm thinking I got that on the uh, on my table for Dishonored but we're gonna go ahead and try and find this blink timer so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is blink and then just pause it as quick as I can and the idea here is I'm going to assume that it starts at a high volume and counts down. That may prove to be wrong. It may actually count up, but we'll have to just try some things and see what happens. Um, again, I want to, you know, do simple values only. And then here we'll go ahead and say one. Pause again. Do a decrease value scan. And then here, because I'm pausing it and I don't know how much of the timer is going to be within that pause time, I don't want to search again. Um, just want to use it again. I'm going to do an increase value scan. And here, of course, we can only do unchanged when we're paused. So, like I said, this one is one where it's going to take a little bit longer because we can't do, you know, I mean, I could try, but I'm afraid I'll cut it out. Um, you know, I'll lose the value. So, I just want to do, like, the two scans like you're seeing me do. There, I did go ahead and try to blink and it did not let me, so I am going to go ahead and go for a decrease because, yeah, you kind of saw how much more that cut out. Um, so sometimes you just got to try it and hope you get lucky. Uh, I definitely don't want to do another one. more in there I could have tried. So increased. 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 Um, because of the nature of this, I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's above zero. May prove to be wrong, but I'm kind of doubted in this case. So I want to do bigger than and zero. And there we've got four values only. So now we can kind of just blink and watch these. And I've got one that's that very top one that's looking like it might be it.
first I'm just going to try freezing it below zero and see what happens here. Um, change it doesn't necessarily mean it's not it just might mean the way that the timer works it won't really work in that fashion we may actually have to do some kind of injection to make that work but I'll go ahead and freeze this one to zero looking like yeah that's our mana timer so we know that was an idea so let's go ahead and see what access is this one here I'm gonna go ahead and disable speed hack now Say it looks like this value is within our same structure here. So that would actually make sense. Shoot, what was that offset? 958. Two places it writes here. If anything is actually counting down, it would probably be this one. <coughs> and so here is where it's actually making the compare. Jump if zero is not above. And I'm saying zero because this is being zeroed out. So jump if zero is not above our current value yeah we'll go ahead and just try no open it first and see what that does actually let's make a backup real quick So, one of the other things we can do here, just for a quick test, is we can actually do just a move SS, oh, not too many S's there, and just set it to that um, XMM2 since that does actually that is already set to zero. Yeah, so that's, let's say that is not our timer. It's timing something else. We're constantly zero.
but since this does seem to be related, we might look at a couple different things here. So, yeah, I'm gonna say that's related, but maybe more something about the charge. I'm not real sure. C is here, 95C. We do got something that only starts to fire. Seems to fire again right about the time that I can blink again. Which really does make me think this should have gotten us the result we were looking for, but. That value is changing. In theory, that should be a static value. But it does only seem to change when that's charging. Given its close proximity to our actual charge timer, I'm, I'm starting to think that's probably what that is. It's more related to it charging. Let's actually look to see how this one's firing. As soon as it charges, it stops. So... Okay, so I might have to go the other direction where I just got it cut out somewhere else by accident. I'm going to go ahead and say none of those are the value we're looking for. Just say that's a mana timer of some kind, but I don't know what. Here, I'm going to go ahead and enable speed hack once again. Um, go with unknown initial value. Do our first scan here. Sometimes going the opposite direction of what you think it would go um, can be a little difficult because I know I can't tell you how many times I would accidentally do a decrease scan when I meant to do an increase scan. Um, so here I want to do increased because the assumption now is it's counting up and not down. Another increase. Here, what would happen if I blinked right after I came out? Um, I'm tapping the button, I would undo my last scan and assume I may not have caught it right. So now we want to decrease scan. It's constantly changing. It's counting up, so increase scan. scan. 
Decrease scan. Increase. Once again, I really don't expect it to be below zero. I just kind of like to make sure I get back to knowing where the last increase or decrease scan I did was. Like it gets pretty close to one before I'm able to blink the one that actually does go over one. Doesn't look like we got anything in our mana structure here, or whatever that structure actually is. something so I can make sure I don't lose track of it. I'm going to get rid of that one. Unfreeze it. Let's go ahead and disable speed hack just because I feel like I'll be less likely to have issues with the debugger this way. So it doesn't get access at all initially. Gets access once we enable Here's our counter. That last one is probably where it actually sets it to one. So right there is where it's increasing the timer. so I don't hide everything behind it here in a second. Let's get rid of that. So, just to do a little more testing. This is a good ejection point. Let's just add one to that value and see what happens here. Let's 
So here we could go with a um, a multiplier or instant. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. Of course, we can obviously see we can just set our multiplier to one, and it you know it will make it an instant. Or no, not really. Not if we multiply. Um, but we can kind of use one in a certain way to make it instant. <coughs> so we're going to add a separate value there. Re-enable that. If I get too crazy with change and stuff, let's disable. Sometimes with fast running timers, um, doing checks like this wouldn't be the best way, so you'd want to just stick with a multiplier. I think we'll be fine in this case. Um, it'd be more for something like time of day that's just constantly running, and this could bog down a lot of things. I would generally not use a flag, and I would just give like a scale multiplier and only allow that to be changed. Um, but here, we're going to go ahead and just give this a try and see what happens. So for our instant, we just want to, really we can probably just do a move SS, maximum zero, with the flow, but plus four, so we're moving one into it, and jump to O code, it'll add, and then kind of go off from there, and here just to give it a multiplier, all we really want to do is just add XMM zero. Or mall XMM zero by our multiplier value. I'm going to say scale multiplier. Set value. Could be infinite length, but we'll just say no cooldown. And I, yeah, no, I don't want that value to be able to be changed to anything, so I'm not giving access to that set value. And a cooldown hook is what I'm going to call this one. Definitely faster. And of 
course, we can go with no cooldown. And I go all over the map and do what we want to do. Oh, yeah, we might want to find health here in a minute. <laughs> That's a little rough. Well, not that high, apparently. <laughs> <coughs> to make sure I didn't have some other funky auto save. Um, so there is that one. Now we can kind of blink all over the map and have a good old time. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and find health next. Especially now that we can kind of fly. I think that will make life easier because um, I'm thinking about the easiest way is going to be jump from a height. I don't think this one will do it. Yeah, that one won't do it. And of course we could just blink up high enough and fall. But we may end up killing ourselves more times than we really mean to. So that doesn't do it. That does. Okay, so... That is probably what I'll do. I'll go ahead and load back in, just so I can have as many potions as I possibly can. Although I'm thinking the health ones I can buy. And I've got five to start with, so. Run speed might be the next thing. <laughs> okay. So we definitely got full health. Won't let me use a potion. There is easy. So then here, I say four bytes this time since mana was four bytes. It was unknown initial value. Take some damage here. Oh yeah, no, that's right. Decreased value. <laughs> use a potion it doesn't charge it all the way
Okay, so we got three interesting values here. taking damage. Yeah. Thinking that first one is it. Another way we can test is even just drop it down and see what happens when we do the game. Yeah. Saw with mana. I'm betting that's our max. We're gonna get rid of these. Clear that out. I don't think we need it anymore. Ooh. Let's look at something here. might be in the same structure. Let's see what access is real quick. Yeah, those are in the same structure. So, three, four, four. So we've already got a hook to be able to get to hell. Definitely got a couple checks for zero. Oddly enough, that's what it looks like. It's decreasing our health, but it's checking zero before that. We do wind up with another check right here. Let me get what that one's doing. Here you go. likely where our health is actually being decreased. So EDX is coming from that. Now one, two, three. That looks like those might be something like coordinates. Maybe not. So we may actually find we got different functions for like fall damage versus getting hit, but at the very least we can still kind of start here and see what we can figure out. Check this to see what all accesses it, or what all runs through this code. So it does look like it's just our health, at least for now. Oh yeah, I'm out of potion, so let's go ahead. Remedy that. 
that. I guess one of the first things we can look at here is so EDX is a 2A just out of curiosity 2A 42 yeah that'd be right Yeah, so that is our, our decrease value. And yeah, it's just pushing it on the sack to save it, probably. There might be something going on in here with it, but I'm kind of doubting it at this point. possible it's somewhere in here we've got some kind of death check seems to just be going through some kind of list so I'm not really sure what's going on in there so I'm betting if we go ahead and modify the value here it'll actually be all right Wouldn't mind seeing if we could track down where that value is actually being calculated. And to make life easier, let's go ahead and just freeze that. So I'll have to keep going back into it to build my health to keep me from dying. Ugh. again it probably is doing something here
gear that pushes it on the stack, but then it doesn't really do anything with it. Because I'd be expecting either an EVP or ESP of plus four. So you push one value on the stack, and that would be ESP plus zero, but then push another value, so that would make it plus four. do anything with it. Yeah, not at all. Hmm. Whoever should have taken damage there. Mm, that sure did look promising. <laughs> uh, let's unfreeze this just to make sure I don't have any goofy things going on when it loads. Okay, so that didn't fire either. Definitely thinking that is some with damage, but it just may not fire for a fall or something like that. I'm not real sure. I don't see EVP being changed. Betting this does fire. Yeah. ESI is our value.
go ahead and try and check here and see what happens. I do want to see where our base is here, if we can get access to it. Okay, so here Yeah, so in this region we would have to reset or fix some um, XMM registries But one thing we can do, go and move that into an address so we can access it. We can do compare by pointer flag flag zero jump up equal to O code. For infinite, actually for infinite, all we need to do is sort ESI and ESI, but we can also say move into ESI. set our health to max and then zero the damage um, although because we've technically already written here damage multiplier we'll use the FPU registry again here just to make life simple so we want to do FLID FISTP 
Empty word. Pointer. EVP minus four. Remove. ESI. I don't know when it actually gets used. Sounds like it uses the address more, but we'll go ahead and reset ESI to that just to make sure. Actually, yeah, we would be overriding it right down here. Well, I guess at that point we could do that and jump to exit. I don't think it's going to really hurt to do it the way we're doing it here. So... Definitely got a decrease to how much damage we take. Let's see how infinite is doing here. Ah, oh, crap. Review that. Hopefully, I didn't hide too much of that on you. I think at this point, though, hopefully, you're kind of getting that general concept of what we're doing. Um, yeah, so that is an infinite health. I do actually wonder what will happen if our health is already really low. something that would normally kill us. It does not kill us. Very good. Okay, so that gives us our infinite health. Let's go back to that just so you can see the whole thing. I really, really hope it didn't hide all that on you. Going to get rid of these. They don't matter anymore. Up, I think. You can kind of see because of the way my scripts run. Um, because it was already enabled, it oddly enough disables it here. When you enable it, um, it's, it's something I've kind of got to make sure I don't do, but we should be alright. I'd rather have 
held up above. Okay. stuff anymore. Okay, so not sure what we're going to do next, but I'll have to give that some thought. Um, yeah, so we'll call this video good because it's already pretty long. Um, I'll think about what we want to hack next and just kind of keep going with this and have some more fun. Anyway, have a good one. See you on the next one.